My next guest is going to be back in action February 10th. We're really excited for it. It is Devin Clark, the Brown Bear, back here on the program. Devin, how are you? Uh, doing good, doing good. You know, just enjoying training out here in Colorado. That That's awesome. Uh, we haven't seen you in a bit. I know uh, you last fought in May. Was this layoff by design? What's sort of the reason for the layoff? Uh, I A few fights didn't quite work out, scheduling and stuff like that. Um, and I had a family vacation, went to Disneyland. Oh, nice. I think it's Disneyland. Yeah, out in California. Okay. Uh, super, super sick time. Uh, definitely worth it. Uh, so I got to enjoy my summer and everything like that. So I think the, the time off was much needed, and there's a lot of growth in that time as well. So uh, I think the timing is, is perfect. Good stuff, man. Well, that's great. Uh, kids must have really liked that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got one. I just got the uh, 10-year-old daughter, and yeah, she had a she had a blast. Yeah, yeah. We just have the one, so we can spoil her even more. So. There you go. Hey, listen, trust me. I got two kids, and that that that's good enough for me. I uh, no no more than that. Got right. to give both those kids the best. So there we go. Um, never fun to talk about a loss, but we got to go back to that last one against Kennedy and Chekwu. Uh, what would you would you take away the most from that fight? Uh, just a little bit of composure type type stuff, and uh, you know, not making these mistakes that I, that I that I know better. Uh, with that one, I kind of hung out a little long, uh, on the cage, let him get some damage off, stuff like that. And then I, you know, what ended up losing me the fight was shooting on a single leg head outside. And I was just kind of hanging it there. Uh, and the guy with arms that long, you just, you just can't do that. Um, so yeah, just, just a few little, little mental things, I think. Um, and, and, and we've addressed them already and they're already fixed. So. Uh, I feel good about that, and it, it makes it makes me more that more confident going to the next one, knowing that all right, I see what I did wrong there. That's easily fixed, um, and just kind of yeah, just kind of working on that, working on the mindset, working on duration type stuff of, of staying focused. You know, that's and that's kind of out of the room type stuff. So uh, working with my my mental coach Caleb Rogers. Uh, and just kind of, yeah, on, on the focus and stuff like that and just doing, doing the stuff that I, that I know I can do right. Let's talk about Marcin Prashino, who you're going to be fighting on this card. 16-7 and seven record. What do you know about him? How do you feel like you match up against him here? Uh, I think it's a really good matchup for, for myself. Uh, I think he has, a, so he has a karate background. That's his style is karate. So I, I really like that. Um, I, like, I like to play around a little karate type stuff too every now and then. Uh, but obviously, uh, I, I have really good wrestling, and I see see that being a good, uh, a big upside for me, uh, having that wrestling and him being, you know, more striking. Uh, you can everybody in, in the UFC can grapple a little bit, but there's definitely levels to it, and I'm not sure he's quite on that that level of being able to defend the stuff that I've prepared for him. So I was telling you off the camera, I just spoke to your teammate, Zach, uh, just before he hopped on yep. here. Obviously, he's going to be on the same card. Uh, really excited for that. Uh, sounds like camp's yeah. going well. Uh, his his words exactly, best camp I've had. Seems like it was probably mm -hmm. the same for you as well. How did everything go? Yeah, yeah. It, I hate saying that because, <laughs> that you know. Cliche, but I, listen, I believe you. I do believe <laughs> you. It's okay. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it, it is feeling like one of the best camps so far. Um and we've we've really been getting the work in, and there's there's been a lot more community community within us, uh, the teammates and the coaches, and it's just it's one of those things. I think this is my fourth fight. Um, I think it's my fourth fight with uh, Team Elevation, yeah. um, fourth or fifth, something like that. Uh, but it's it's yeah, you know, I'm starting to be a part of the system and know the system um, and stuff like that. And this was the first camp with them that I that I've really felt like that where. Um, I don't have to think as much or try to do this, do that. Um, the stuff that uh, Coach Vinny Lopez wants me to do and Cody Donovan, the stuff they want us to do, uh, we're able to do it. And it's, it's a learned system that we've been working on. Uh, I've been here two years now, and it, it, it's clicking, and, it, and it's working. It's working into the, my game that I already had before and just making it better. And I heard you got a 400-pound strongman in the gym. Uh, I saw the photo with <laughs> Curtis, and Zach was sort of talking about that too. What, what, tell me a bit about that. I know he's going he's, he's gonna to be fighting here soon. Uh, yeah, Brian Shaw. He's he's uh one of the nicest guys I've ever met. He he's a little intimidating at first because he's the size of a house. He's just it, you can hardly describe how big this man is. And it's uh, and I've actually I've done some rounds with him and stuff like that. And it's it's super interesting to 
feel how he moves and stuff like that. And the extra stuff that we have to do just to try to like maybe grab an elbow, his elbow is the size of somebody's leg. Uh, so it's, <laughs> it makes it a, a little different. Um, but yeah, it was super cool to see him in the room training and learning, learning all this, um, all the stuff that, that we know and that we've been working on and seeing the different body type, uh, do this. And I think his fight's going to be really good too. He's fighting, uh, another huge human being, um, an actor. Uh, I forget his name, but he's, he's an actor. He's got a bunch of tattoos. He's been in a bunch of movies and stuff, scary looking guy. So it'll be a, a cool fight. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's awesome. Uh, how's your, how's your weight cut going? Speaking of weight, uh, we just had the holidays. Seem like you, it seems like everything's going well. Uh, it's going good. I'm about two thirty right now, which is right where I want to be. Um, I've experimented with, with it in the past where I want to be a little heavier, a little lighter. Uh, but at this point, uh, we still have what three, three and a half weeks of hard training left. So two thirty will kind of melt down to two twenty five. Then right before f- about fight week, it'll be two twenty three, which will be a good cut, good way to cut from. Awesome. Uh, your corner, uh, I imagine that for Zach, I know it's Vinny Lopez and Cody Donovan. Is it going to be the same for you? Who's going to be in your cage? Uh, yeah, same coaches. And then, uh, vanilla thunder. I think, you know, know him, Ben time, uh, time and, yep. uh, he'll be in my corner as well. Nice. That's great. And, uh, how's this uh, one playing out? How do you see it going down on February 10th? I see me taking him down, beating the shit out of him is, is, I don't know if that's what will happen, but I, I really see that, uh, uh, it's a, it's a real possibility for sure. Um, just the way the styles styles match up. Um, I don't see him finding a way to stop me from doing that besides knocking me out. And obviously that's, you know, he, he has knocked people out and he does have good hands, stuff like that. Uh, and he's, he's a tough Polish guy. Uh, the last time I underestimated a Polish guy was Jan Blockowitz and we know how that went. Right, <laughs> you know, he sure. became, he came, you know, rose up and became champion after that. So definitely not a guy to underestimate. Uh, and I'll, I'll definitely have to bring it and bring my A game, which highly involves wrestling. Always going to ask you, uh, how many more fights do you have in your contract? I always, I always forget. Because, I mean, you've been in the UFC forever. I remember when you came in as a middleweight. I think people forget that. Yeah, yeah, that was about seven years ago. Seven um, years, man, I'm getting old. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, I know. Uh, I forget how long I've been in the UFC. Then somebody remind me. I'm like, oh, shit, okay, okay. It yeah, makes me like feel good. Season veteran, time, but... Devin. It's great. <laughs> I guess so. Um, uh Sorry, what what did you say again? I was just asking how many more fights you have. You must have a few. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's the last fight on this contract, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, And, of course, we're looking to re-sign. I know a lot of people are trying to go elsewhere nowadays and see their options, but, you know, I I love being a UFC fighter and and what it takes to stay in the UFC and to earn that that spot means so much to me. So uh, that's what I'm going to try to do, try to, you know, win this fight in good fashion resign and you know take it from there there we go good good idea there um you mentioned being an elevation fight team for a couple of years of course you used to be at jackson wink and i know you used to train yep. a bit with john jones who's been in the news a lot mm-hmm. because of this whole thing with tom aspinall have you been following all uh, this obviously john you know i understand from john's perspective he wants to he wants one more fight and it's against stipe a guy yep. who's considered one of the best heavyweights yep. ever what do you make of that whole situation uh it's it's interesting because John's the type of guy that he doesn't, you know, if he wasn't really hurt, he wouldn't, wouldn't be doing all this stuff. And, um, it is because of injury and stuff like that. Um, in my opinion, I think that Aspinall fight probably would have been made if, if John was healthy and Steve, couldn't make it or something like that. But, uh, I think as a fan, people would do want to see the, the Stipe and, and John fight. Um, Aspinall, it, you know, for me, I would like to see John and Aspinall too af- after Stipe or before or whatever, um, I think John, he's, he's obviously, you know, arguably the best UFC fighter or fighter that we've seen. And I think he, even though he's a little bit older now, but he's still, I think he's only 35 or 36. Um, I still think he could, he can beat all these guys. So, um, yeah. Do you think he'll probably just fight Stipe and then call it a career? Cause it kind of seems like that's what he's doing. Cause I, I guess kind of what he said in the tweets is that he doesn't really feel yeah. like fighting Aspinall really have any upside. Yeah, I, I mean, that's what it sounds like. I haven't really talked to him about it or nothing like that. So um, if, if he says that's what he want, wants to do, that's probably probably the, the case, So, um, okay. which is a good fight to go out on. Yeah. What? What? Um, yeah. When was the last time you spoke to him? 
Uh, it's been a while. I was talking a few months ago. Yeah. Okay. That's good. You guys still keep in touch though. Um, what do you think about this whole goat debate? Because obviously people say that he's the greatest of all time. Some people are saying, you know, it should be Islam. Like, like, where do you rank him on the list as someone who's trained with him? Uh, he's, he's the best ever for sure. Um, and there's a lot of arguments for it, but just to see in, you know, he, he made this a thing. Like nobody was, there wasn't much of a goat talk before John and, and, uh, the, the dominance that, that he's shown, um, you know, the, the proof is there and maybe Islam will be one day. He, he just has to make it that far. And, uh, however many years John's been on top, do the same thing. And then, then you're in the conversation, but, uh, I don't think Islam's done as much yet. So it, it's, you can't really call him a goat. We can call you the go-to interviews, though, Devin. Always appreciate the time. Uh, veteran move, by the yeah. way, going in the car. It's quiet, good lighting, so I appreciate that. <laughs> um, if there's anything oh, yeah. you want to thank before we get out of here, any sponsors, any social media you want to mention, as always, I'll give you the last word. Yeah, I just, I just want to thank everybody that's that's uh, followed me throughout my career. Uh, I know we've had a lot of ups and downs, but you know you know me, I never give up. And uh, I thank my sponsor out in uh, South Dakota, uh, Dakota Herb, uh, medical marijuana dispensary. Um Shout out those guys. If you're in South Dakota, check them out. And then, uh, yeah, catch me on Instagram at brownbearuoc.